The Andronovo culture, flourishing from around 2000 to 900 BCE, was a Bronze Age society that spread across the vast steppes of Central Asia. Named after the Andronovo village near Omsk, where the first archaeological evidence was discovered, this culture is closely associated with early Indo-Iranian migrations and is believed to be a key player in the spread of Indo-European languages across the region. The origins of the Andronovo culture can be traced back to earlier Eurasian steppe cultures like the Sintashta, known for their advanced metallurgy and chariot burials, which played a crucial role in shaping Andronovo's material and social development. Cultural customs of the Andronovo people reflected a nomadic and semi-settled lifestyle, with significant emphasis on cattle herding, horse breeding, and metallurgy. They built fortified settlements and practiced agriculture to a limited extent, but their expertise in bronze working, particularly for tools and weapons, stood out. Burial practices involved placing the deceased in kurgans, burial mounds, or flat graves, often accompanied by pottery, weapons, and occasionally, chariots. Additionally, the Andronovo people are thought to have practiced a form of proto-Indo-Iranian religion, with evidence of fire worship and possible early Vedic-like rituals. For this video, I gathered the DNA of 12 Andronovo samples and ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Links to purchase the DNA samples as well as my trait predictor tool will be in the description of the video. The most common predicted phenotype among the samples was Nordic, with five samples scoring this phenotype as their predicted phenotype. Other phenotypes were also present. Here is the average morph of the Andronovo people with all of the predicted phenotypes morphed together. The most common predicted eye color was brown, with four samples scoring brown eyes, although lighter eye colors such as blue, green, and hazel were also very common. No sample scored dark brown eyes, and no sample scored blue eyes with an amber center. The most common hair colors were dark blonde and dark brown. One sample scored light brown, and one sample also scored black hair. Interestingly, no sample scored red or light blonde hair. The most common hair texture was curly, although wavy and straight was also very common. Interestingly, no sample scored kinky hair texture. Regarding hair loss, the Andronovo had a high predisposition to male pattern hair loss, which is typical for West Eurasians with my calculator. The most common nose shape was snub, but four samples were also predicted to have a Greek-shaped nose. Seven of the 12 samples were predicted to be below average in height, while five samples were predicted to be taller. The Andronovo samples were roughly equally predisposed to warrior and warrior phenotype, which predisposes them to average rate of dopamine reuptake and stress tolerance. The Andronovo samples also had a predisposition to an average number of D2 receptor sites, which predisposes them to average odds of schizophrenia and no-go learning. Their odds of bipolar 1 were average overall. The Andronovo samples had an average predisposition to depression and anxiety based on 5 HT levels. The Andronovo samples had a predisposition to higher odds of autism, and one sample was predicted to be lactase persistent. The Andronovo samples were predisposed to an average level of empathy based on OXDR genotypes. The Andronovo samples were strongly predisposed to lower odds of cardiovascular issues. The Andronovo samples were predisposed to a roughly average odds of alcoholism, roughly average telomere length, roughly average red blood cell count, and one of them had very high iron level indicative of hemochromatosis risk. The Andronovo samples had average odds of epithelial cancers based on 8Q24 genotypes and lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotype. They had average predisposition to ankylosing spondylitis and type 1 diabetes. They mostly had average to low predisposition for kidney stones and low predisposition to age-related macular degeneration. The Andronovo samples had a predisposition to myopia or refractive error, and four of them were carriers for hemoglobin E disease risk variants. The Andronovo samples had a low overall risk of syncope, which is loss of consciousness caused by spontaneous loss of blood flow to the brain. The Andronovo samples had a predisposition to higher levels of glucose which is bad. The Andronovo samples had a predisposition to a higher level of LDL cholesterol, which is also bad. The Andronovo samples had a predisposition to higher levels of vitamin D, which is good. The most common blood type among the Andronovo was O, followed by A, and one sample scored B as its predicted blood type. 
No sample was predicted to have blood type AB. All relevant data will be in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.